It's Championship Saturday for the Northeast Conference Softball Tournament. And here in Brooklyn, New York, the St. Francis Red Flash look to three-peat as they take on the host, LIU Brooklyn Blackbirds. So Zero's just been locked in here down the stretch. Line drive to left center could be trouble. That'll get down to the gap and go all the way to the wall as it's misplayed by Jordan Frank. Rounding third, heading home Castillo. The relay throw not in time. It got behind to the backstop and down to third base. Kiana Cisneros, an RBI double. She gets to third on the throwing error and it's a 1-0 LIU lead. High and outside for ball four and that forces in a run as Shea Dixon touches up home plate and LIU takes a 2-0 lead. This group has done a lot of winning in its four years as Haley Norton tags it deep to left. Hinkle going back and it's gone. Opposite field home run for Haley Norton gets St. Francis on the board in the bottom of the fourth and you knew that it was only a matter of time before Norton broke out in the tournament. I just hate to lose, coach. Dixon rips this one deep to center. Frank going back, she looks up and it's gone. Two run home run for Shea Dixon. And the senior puts LIU up four to one. Ugafer working deliberately with two on. Dixon line to left field. Norton coming on, can't make the play. She kicks it into foul territory. Two runs are in for LIU Brooklyn. And over to second base, Shea Dixon with two more runs batted in. And LIU now a six run lead. Now Tally Woodson one strike away from finishing off a complete game victory. Forcing a decisive seventh game in this NEC tournament. Fly ball to right field. Griffin makes the catch. And the LIU Brooklyn Blackbirds victorious 6-1 over St. Francis University. And they force a game seven here today. We get ready to send it over to Craig D'Amico right now, who's standing by on the first baseline with Roy Cortman and our player of the game, Shea Dixon. All right, Joe, thanks so much. No more asterisk. Game seven is necessary. That's coming up, but let's talk with our game six winners here. Coach, let me start with you. Could you have asked for anything better from Woodson here today in the circle? No, she was legit. She threw the ball well, kept them off balance. Really proud of it. The defense, 18 double plays for you guys all season. One sixth of your season double plays came today. How about the defense? Well, we've actually been playing pretty good defense all year long, knock on wood. So uh, we're accustomed to it, we're used to it, and uh, we count on it. Now we have a game seven coming up. Can you give us a little preview? What can we expect here in this final NEC softball game of the season? Yeah, a lot of fun. Enjoy watching. It's going to be good. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. You got it. All right, let's try to talk with Shea, our player of the game. Um, three for four today, four RBIs. What was your mindset coming in with your season on the line here in this elimination game? You know, I was just thinking to just play free. You know, I trust myself, I trust my hands, and I trust my teammates. So that's all I was thinking going into this game. And we were talking a little bit earlier in the week about, you know, this last go around here at the Birdcage, how much this means as a senior to go out with a championship. So now that it's here, now that you're getting a chance to play for a championship on your home field, how does it feel? It feels amazing. Um, I'm speechless, truly, but getting to do it with those other girls is just a dream come true. So super excited. And there's still one more to go. So what's the mindset now trying to refocus and get right back to it, having to beat this team again? We're just going to keep battling and play our game. Best of luck. Thank you. All right, Joe, back to you.